we're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. A worker heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a the trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look and found a number of um, deceased individuals inside. The ones that we did transport, uh, we do hope that they're all going to survive. None of these people were able to extricate themselves out of the uh, truck. So they were still in there awaiting help when we arrived. What do you mean by Were they not able to Joey, get meaning just being too weak, weak in state to actually get out and help themselves. Uh, it's, it's tragic. You know, there, there are, um, that we know of, 46 individuals uh, who are no longer with us, who had families, um, who were likely trying to find uh, a better life. And we have 16 folks who are fighting for their lives in their hospital. Um, our focus right now is to uh, try to bring aid to them as, as best we can. Uh, but this is nothing short of a horrific human tragedy. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Mitch Carr and we are following breaking developments at the top of the hour. At least 46 people were found dead in an abandoned tractor trailer in San Antonio in what officials say was an attempt to smuggle migrants into the U.S. At this hour, 16 people, including four children, remain in the hospital with heat-related illnesses. Authorities say a city worker heard a cry for help from the truck and discovered this horrific scene. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. According to the Associated Press, Monday's tragedy is among the deadliest to claim the lives of people attempting to cross the U.S. border from Mexico in decades. News Nation correspondent Alex Capriello joins us with the latest. Alex, what more can you tell us about this incident? Well, good morning to you, Mitch. This is a unfolding incident, definitely breaking news that came through yesterday afternoon and has been developing overnight. Countless federal and Texas officials are beginning to weigh in about it. The mayor of San Antonio calling it, quote, a horrific human tragedy. As you mentioned, 46 people were found dead inside that tractor trailer. They're all believed to be uh, people that were being smuggled across the U.S.-Mexico border into the U.S. 16 others, including four children, were taken to nearby hospitals. Here's how it all went down. Uh, the Homeland Security officials say a city worker heard cries for help yesterday afternoon, and when police showed up, they opened up that tractor trailer to find those bodies all lying within it. This is a refrigerated tractor trailer, but we're told that there was no air conditioning, no water inside, and so they died uh, within it. Uh, we're told also that these people most likely suffocated or died from heat exhaustion or heat stroke. At this point, this is now a federal investigation. The Department of Homeland Security is gonna be taking over. Alex, we understand that three people are in custody already. Have authorities released any details on who those folks are? And also, do they have any idea how long this tractor trailer was abandoned? Not much yet is known about those three people. In fact, the police haven't even been able to definitively say that they are tied to this human smuggling attempt. What is important context to note is that this section of the South Texas border is well known for human smuggling. San Antonio is one of the closest major cities to the Rio Grande Valley. And along those lines, it is an issue for these border states, Texas and Arizona come to mind to defend that border, to keep folks uh, out that should not be in and also to prevent these smuggling situations, to prevent situations like this. So, Alex, have you seen any online reaction from Texas lawmakers regarding this incident? Yeah, of course, the reaction was almost immediate. We're hearing from some of Texas's top officials, including Governor Greg Abbott. He is actually pointing the blame 
to President Biden and the Biden administration's immigration policies. Let me read one of the tweets that he wrote. He said, these deaths are on Biden. They are a result of his deadly open border policies. Now, on the other end, we're also hearing from Beto O'Rourke. He's the Democratic candidate for governor in the election that's coming up here shortly. He wrote, we need urgent action dismantle human smuggling rings and replace them with expanded avenues for legal migration that reflect our values and meet our country's needs. Beyond just these Texas officials, we are hearing from federal officials, including Alejandro Mayorkas from the Biden administration, and even across the sea, where we just uh, recently heard from the Pope who weighed in on this horrific human tragedy, as the San Antonio mayor put it. And that is one of the things that both sides agree on, is that this human smuggling situation, they got to get a handle on it. News Nation correspondent Alex Capriello, live for us this morning. Thank you for that breaking update. We will be sure to follow the latest developments here on News Nation.